what we want to do at the center, and this is why I, I, I said this uh, at the beginning of the talk, and I mean it very much, your talk is going to be the cornerstone for what we're doing at the center. Because neither are we only, uh, like you said, obsessed with tools, and neither are we uh, about concepts merely. But what are we going to do? Uh, and you think about that in terms of medicine, communication, education. These are precisely the fields that to evacuate that middle in knowledge is to make a, 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 a disincarnate knowledge. But in the same way, if we don't have a, a, a knowledge that's based on the sort of friendship necessary to learn those things, then it's going to be a bloodless, lifeless world that we teach. Right. It, it's, it's going to be more or less like the internet. The, the internet come to life. It's like yeah. a, the, 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 the threat of every late 90s sci-fi movie. Yes. And, you know, uh, social life, if it's only abstract and, tech, and technical, it's basically a resume. Mm. But a resume is not a relationship. No. No. <laughs> no. It's one of the last things. I mean, exactly right. We, we've far too long, and for right reasons, what we want to have good techniques that we teach people. We want to get our concepts straight. But when we make that observation that maybe there's something missing, or that we, we, we want to, as educators, want to send our students out into the, the world that they're going to live in, so the health sciences here at Mercy, what is that extra thing? And we think maybe it's soft skills, or maybe it's this or that, but I really think it's the social reality that creates, the, the sort of friendships that would create the knowledge we're talking about, the practically wise. Because that's what you want is the practically wise nurse, you want the practically wise radiologist. That's what you want. Not just the conceptual nurse, not just the technical radiologist, the practically wise one. And that's what we have to be about. Indeed. Well, I thank you so much. I think that this is a, a perfect way to talk about um, what we're about at the Center uh, for Human Flourishing. And like I said, it's beyond an honor and a pleasure to have you to be the first inaugural uh, honorary fellow. And I hope people would take a chance to, see, to watch your whole talk. It truly is a cornerstone for what we're planning to do here. Well, thank you very much. Very happy to be here. Well, thank you, Dr. Hittinger.